B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles Great Professional Wrestling Video Blogs Great Sports Video Blogs Great MBTA Video Blogs And a whole lot more Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 On various social media websites RBBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 8.05 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's about 60 degrees out right now, and the sun's going down. Tomorrow on Wednesday's wash out of the day. We need the rain. Some news to report on the RBBN new fight. Doo, 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 doo. The New Orleans Saints and Adrian Peterson, free agent, running back, are on the verge of signing a contract. So that's good news for the Saints. Also, the Massachusetts state lawmakers have decided to vote against a sales tax holiday. So there's not going to be another sales tax holiday in Massachusetts in 2017. And it's official. Martha McKellen of Fox News, who hosts the first 100 days, that show's going to be rebranded as a story with Martha McCarroll Collar on May 1st. Martha rocks, and she's got the, she's a cute lady, blonde, the best legs on the Fox News channel. That went, and her legs went right up there with Julie Broughton, Molly Rosebond, and Elizabeth Hart. And that's about it on news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back in the flash with my third and final video blog subject tonight, which will be about the WWE health show card from Madison Square Garden on July 25th, 1988. But first, hear this. Pump it up, 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 pump it up. Get your exercise in. Run, swim, jog. Crawl, do jumping jacks, do do push-ups, pull-ups, take power walks, do it for a half hour each, each day to get the heart pumping and flowing and get down to a slim trim 217 pounds like the late great WWE superstar playboy Buddy Rose. Get, do your exercise tomorrow on RVBN. Three more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about the top 10 um, game shows that G, that that um, buzzer should we run? And second video blog will be about the conference semifinal previews of the NHL. And the third and final video blog tonight will be about the WWE house show card review for Madison Square Garden on September 29th, 1988. And more good, good video blogs on the way. Stay tuned. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject tonight is about the WWE house show card reveal from the world's most famous arena at Madison Square Garden on July 25th, 1988. Headlined by a lumberjack match between Andre the Giant, the 7 foot 4 8 wonder of the world, facing off against Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, USA! USA! USA in a lumberjack match. Plus, other exciting matches. This was televised live on the MSG Network and it was called by Sean Mooney, who's famous for hosting event center for the WWE and also um, Lord Alfred Hayes and superstar Billy Graham. I'm the man with the power. I'm the man of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. Superstar Billy Graham was an awful commentator in my humble opinion. And here, the, here are the matches that happened at this house show. The first match was Leaping Lanny Poffo facing off against Terry Taylor, who made his debut in the WWE. This wasn't Taylor, Terry Taylor's Master Square Garden debut. He made his Master Square Garden debut back in 1980. And this was a decent match, co competitive match. Lanny Poffo almost pinned Terry Taylor with some moon salts, but in the end, Terry Taylor put Lanny Poffo in the sharpshooter or Scorpion Deplock and Lanny tapped out and he did the J.O.B. at the MSG. The next match were the Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty who were making their Madison Square Garden debut facing off against the fabulous Rougeau brothers, Shock and Raymond 
who are were all American boys. They were in the process of leaving Quebec to move to Memphis, Tennessee. And this was a competitive 15 minute match. Exciting moves back and forth, back and forth. Ending had Raymond Rougeau push Marty Gennetti off the ropes and Raymond pinned him for the one, two, three. The next match was Dan Dangerous Danny Davis against Brett the Hitman Hart. The excellence of execution. Brett was, you know, in the midst of a face push. And he beat Danny Davis quite easily with the pile driver. He didn't use the sharpshooter back then. In about nine and a half minutes, the next match was Greg the Hammer Valentine facing off against The Rock, Don Morocco. This feud had started on an edition of Superstars of Wrestling when Greg the Hammer Valentine put the figure four leg lock on superstar Billy Graham, who was at that time Don Morocco's manager. And this feud was starting to boil. And even though the, the, the lock, Don Morocco, was a Awful as a face, in my humble opinion, and they were um, kind of slowly putting Greg the Hammer Valentine in mid card mediocrity because he, um, Greg the Hammer Valentine in the early to mid 80s, would win the top, the top years in professional wrestling. He would now he's in this era, he was just getting lost in shuffle, and this went to a time limit. Draw, which is 20 minutes, but actually it only lasted 18 and a half minutes because sometimes time limit draws in the world of professional wrestling are exaggerated. They might go a few seconds to as much as two minutes before the actual time limit. Afterwards, like Valentine got into an argument with superstar Billy Graham. The next match was for the WWE Tag Team Championships. It was a challenge to British Bulldogs, Davey Boy Smith, and the Dynamite Kid facing off against Demolition, Axe and Smash with Mr. Fuji in the corner, in the corner of the champions. It also a 20 minute exciting match. Bulldogs used power moves on Demolition. They almost regained the tag team titles, but in the end, Jacques Rougeau and Raymond Rougeau interfered and they were distracting the referee. Jacques hits um, Davy Boy Smith with the cane after Davy Boy Smith was delivering the power slam to Smash, and then Smash pins Davy Boy Smith, and the referee counts one, two, three, and Demolition retained the Tag Team Championships. The next match, it was the Bolsheviks, Nikolai Volkov and Boris Zukov facing off against the Powers of Pain, the Warlord and the Barbarian, who were making their Madison Square Garden debut. This match was a seven minute match. Ending had um, Warlord and the Barbarian double team. Um, Boris Zukov and giving them a headbutt and power slam. The next match was SD Special Delivery Jones facing off against the newly crowned king of the WWE, King Haku. And this was a, like a total squash match. Um, King Haku used the um, crest's kick on SD Jones and pins him one, two, three. And then the main event of this evening was a lumberjack match. It was Andre the Giant, the eighth wonder of the world, facing off against Hacksaw Jim Juggin. Oh, USA! USA! USA and this match was like slow and plotting and you know Jim Duggan took bumps outside the ring and you know and the lumberjack flew him in but when um Andre the Giant took a bump outside the ring took everybody out and Andre was beating up on the lumberjacks but you know eventually Andre got to his feet and knocked Jim Duggan out and gave him the elbow for one, two, 
Huey, and afterwards all the lumberjacks came in and attacked Andre the Giant, and Andre the Giant fought them off, but then Jim Duggan uses his 2 by 4 and clears the lane of Andre the Giant. And that was it on this house show card, which is a mediocre C. There was some good exciting tag team matches on the card, and but other times it was uh, squash matches and squash matches, which is not good. And that's about it on that. Tomorrow, three more video blogs for your entertainment. Like I always say to end these video blogs, keep calm everybody. I'm a Julie Pudding guy. Molly Rose Blonde, WCCO, Oxenass, Nice Legs. This is Beth Hot, so, so stunning. She's the best. She's got the second best legs in all of Florida. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Um, Amy Squeezy's awesome, awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPI, Channel Alum, New York. Such rocking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City, Bob Nunn. Len Claire, WHEH, Channel 7 in Boston. His best legs in Boston. And Jamie Hirsch of the NHL Network rocks. She's got the best likes in the NHL Network. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Sharkey, former principal of BMHS, this action will not be tolerated. BMHS, goodbye, sweet.